What did she say? Even though it'd be true, but you know what I mean. All right, Maruko. Bye. Can you read Romans nine? Yeah. Romans. Mm. Oh wait. <laughs> Hold on. Concern for Israel. Uh okay. Break it down also. Okay. We can go over it. I am telling the truth in Christ. I am not lying. My conscience testifies with me, enlightened and promoted by the Holy Spirit, that I have great sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart. For if it were possible, I would wish that I myself were cursed, separate, separated, banished from Christ for the sake of the salvation of my brothers and my natural kinsmen, who are Israelites, to whom belongs the adoption as sons. The glory, Shekinah, what's Shekinah? Okay, Shekinah, the special covenants with Abraham, Moses, and David, the giving of the law, the system of the temple worship, and the original promises. To them belong the patriarchs, and from them, according to his natural descent, came the Christ, Messiah, the anointed. He who is exalted and supreme over all, gloss, glossed. God bless forever. Amen. However, it is not as though God's word had failed, has failed, coming to nothing. For those who are all, I can't read, sorry. For not all who are descended from Jacob are the true Israel. And they are not the children of Abraham because they are his descendants by blood. But the promise was, your descendants will be named through Isaac. What did he say? Oh my gosh. It says, For not all who are descended from Israel, Jacob, are the true Israel. And they are not all the children of Abraham because they are his descendants by blood. But the promise was, Your descendants will be named through Isaac, though Abraham had other sons. That is, it is not the children of the body Abraham's natural descendants who are God's children but it is the children of the promise who are counted as Abraham's true descendants for this is what the promise said about this time next year I will come and Sarah shall have a son and not only that but this too Jacob Jacob what um Rebecca conceived twins conceived twin sons one by man under the same circumstances by our father Isaac and though the twins were not yet born and had not done anything either good or bad so that God's purpose his choice his election was stand not because of works done by either child but because of the plan of him who calls them it was said to her the older Esau will serve the younger, Jacob. As it is written and forever remains written, Jacob I loved, chose protected, blessed, but Esau I hated, held in disregard compared to Jacob. <clears throat> okay, anyways. What shall we say then? Is there injustice with God? Certainly not. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whoever, on whomever I have mercy, and I will have compassion on whomever I have compassion. So then God's choice is not dependent on human will, nor on human effort, the to totality of human striving. Mm. 